Okay, so I ran out of time on the last video to talk about this, but I asked you to think about who's going to want to know your story of how it was to stay at home during COVID-19 or a story of someone you know who's helping the community. Um, once you decide who you want to write about, I would view this video. You can get a link to this video in our Canvas class. There's a link in the module. It's ELD Remote Learning Module 1. Or you can actually look at the slides in there, and then you can find the link right here in the slides. I'm not going to show this video right now. That is available to you on our Canvas class. It's a really good video about how to organize your story. Okay, then we talked about how, uh, the process of writing a personal narrative, personal story, same thing. Okay, first you brainstorm and you come up with your ideas, right? Think of every idea you can. Who are the different people you could write about? What are your experiences yourself, your own story? Come up with all the ideas you can. Then I told you to choose who you're going to write about and why. So now you need to start to think about how you can write a rough draft. I uh, have a place on the Canvas class to turn in your rough draft, and I can give you comments so that you can have a good final draft. Before you write your rough draft, oops, I arrows. Before you write your rough draft, um, in the video that I linked, um, there were six steps to telling a good story. So you have to decide basically what is the story about. Tell some background, say who your characters are, give some events that lead up to an exciting moment or an interesting moment, uh, wrap up your story, finish your story, the conclusion is the ending, and what did, why is your story important? What lesson should people think about after they read your story? And you can tell them at the end of the story, you can say what you learned and what you think is important about the story. That's a great way to end your story. Okay, so we've worked with plot diagrams this year. Anytime you tell a story, this is a good thing to think about in structuring your story. Every story is gonna have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay, usually the lesson comes at the end. Sometimes the author puts it at the beginning. You decide, but if you put it all in this order, that's going to work pretty well. Um, but when you're going through the slideshow, I just put this slide at the end because there's a lot of other slides after that with no information on them. So, hey, thanks for watching this video. And I really hope you can come to the classes because then I can help answer your questions. I get to see your smiling face. I get to understand what help you need. So please try to come to our classes online, but if you can't, I understand and hopefully you're watching this video. Click like and subscribe, right? Is that what I'm supposed to say? Have a great day.